I'm Anton, a specialist on insect production at the Danish Technological Institute. I would like to introduce you to Recipe, a Eurostar-funded project aiming to further develop the insect industry. And I have good news. Our project showed that we can decentralize the insect production in a similar way as traditional livestock or aquaculture industry. Today, the production of insects is mainly performed using a centralized approach where the insect farms consist of reproduction, grow out and processing of insects. In traditional animal farming, the reproduction and growth are normally performed by different stakeholders using a decentralized approach. Decentralization allows for optimized reproduction and efficient grow out. In short, it's a better business because it is diverse and competitive. In Project Recipe, we want to achieve the same by decoupling the reproduction from grow out and by making transport of young animals possible. This new decentralized supply chain, we, we assessed whether it's best to ship the breeding products as uh, eggs, neonates or five days old larvae. In terms of eggs and five days old larvae, we found out that it's risky in terms of uh, the survival rate and it's also costly uh, referring to the volume size and the climate conditions. So we found out that neonates are the best way for shipping those uh, breeding products. During the recipe project, we validated our results by shipping suspended neonates in those packages to Denmark to DTI. This resulted in high survival rates and consistent production outputs. All in all, the technology worked at pilot scale. But what about the industrial implementation? Here at Bühler, we design complete insect plants for projects all around the world. We have seen many projects in which reproduction has been a major challenge for our clients. On one hand, it requires strong biological know-how. On the other hand, it requires high investment in terms of equipment and human resources. The solutions developed during the recipe project allow our client to outsource reproduction and receive ready-to-use packages of suspended neonates. You might now ask, is this economically feasible? And the answer is yes. Our economic model shows that the neonate supply model is financially attractive and even more favorable compared to egg supply or five-day-old larvae supply. Our work has paved the way for a segmented supply chain in the insect protein industry. We envision the creation of a large breeding hubs centralized in Europe being able to distribute ready-to-use packages of suspended neonates to grow out facilities throughout the continent. Developing a new industry requires a new look at the bigger picture, involving interdisciplinary approach, involving basic science, biology and engineering. We hope that our findings and developments during the recipe project will help to unlock the true potential of the insect protein industry.